Hey everyone, welcome to Encore, and today we're going to do airbrushing nails. We're going to do airbrush nail art, and this is actually inspired by a photo that I found, and it's just so inspirational. And it's a picture of a sunset and a sailboat, and I just thought it was just so serene and beautiful, so it inspired me to do a nail art using airbrush. So for those of you who are uh, airbrushers for nail art, here's a video. Hey everyone, welcome back. So before we begin, I just wanted to go over a few things that I used in this video. And uh, for the uh, paints, I actually use Createx um, Opaque paints, alright, airbrush paints. And you can buy these individually from your local craft stores. You can Google them online. They're all over the place and they're probably one of the uh, leaders in airbrush paints and they are suitable for nail art. Now in the video I also used a stencil for the sailboat and for that I simply went online and looked for just a black and white graphic of a sailboat and I found this and I just printed it on paper and I actually used this sailboat right here, okay? And what I did is I used a piece of plastic, all right? And I just basically just kind of used my X-Acto knife and uh, of course, you know, trace that over the print out and then cut that out, all right? And I also used the straight edge of this pencil to, uh, or the plastic to actually uh, paint in the uh, anything that has like a straight edge in the video. So that's pretty much it. So let's begin So I always begin by priming the nail using opaque white paint and this is a great Idea for any kind of nail art to always prime the area or the surface with white color first and again, this is from Createx, and this is opaque white. And then my next color is actually red, and I'm just applying this right in the uh, middle section of the nail. Then I'm applying orange, just to give it a little bit more dimension. And then yellow would be my last color, so it has layers of the three colors to uh, make that sun effect. Then on the top part of the nail, I'm applying kind of like a light blue color. And this is going to be kind of like the sky color. It's almost like a sky blue color. Okay, and then to add dimension to that, I'm going to add black to the blue to make it more like a dark um, blue color, a navy blue color. And I'm just going to add that at the very, very top so that it graduates right into the lighter blue, creating kind of like almost that um, dusk night sky color. And then what I'm doing here is I'm adding the sun all right, and it's just a circular shape. And then using the edge of the plastic um, stencil I'm using, I'm just going to line it with green, and just straight across. And this is kind of like going to create that horizon. All right, and I'm going to make sure that cuts through the sun or the circle. And half of the sun is going to be a reflection of the water and half of it is the real sun kind of setting. And then I'm adding black to the green to make it more a dark green. And once again, using the edge of the plastic, I'm just going to follow the line of the lighter green and uh, create kind of more like a, almost like a land effect on the horizon, kind of like an island per se. And then using black, I'm just adding a little bit to the, uh, kind of like the uh, outer edge of that sharp line to give it a little bit more dimension. All right, and then I'm just going to go over the sun once again with my yellow paint, just to get that nice yellow seeping through very lightly. And then now using my cutout stencil of the sailboat, I'm just going to apply black right over that. And when I remove the stencil, it's going to leave me with a sailboat impression, just like so. And I also added the uh, a little bit of gray on the water part. And now I'm adding a little bit more of a charcoal color. I'm just mixing really black and white to create these colors. And this is going to add texture to the water. All right, just like you see. 
And then now it's going to be a great time to clean off the oversprays, and I'm just using plain water and a Q-tip for this. All right, and just take as much as you can, and uh, using a toothpick, I'm just going to add the ripples on the water, starting with the white paint, and I'm just kind of just using kind of like a wave pattern right on the uh, water area, and uh, just using the tip of the toothpick for that. And then once I initially place all the ripples, I'm going to add more texture by adding um, darker colors. So that way it kind of look more like a reflection on the water. So once I add all the waves or all the ripples in white, and that's going to be, that's also going to create kind of like a highlight in the water. So, um, again, going back through all these lines, I'm actually going to kind of interweave the ripple pattern using a darker color. Now, this is uh, just kind of like a charcoal color, really. It's not really black, black. I'm just going to weave that through the white so it covers some of them. So that way it doesn't look like it's a white stripe, like a zebra stripe. It doesn't look like that. It's more like a ripple lef uh, reflection. All right. And then just let that completely dry. And then the final thing you need to do is just seal all that with a top clear coat. And that's going to seal in the color. And that pretty much it. Then you can show your friends your nail art creation. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.